Hey guys, we have Maddie here, ready to make some sensory Play-Doh. Okay. Um, so it's two ingredients, so it's really easy. Um, it is baby lotion and cornstarch. I have lavender baby lotion um, because that helps with calming and sleeping, um, or there's regular. Um, I like baby lotion, really you can do it with any kind of lotion or even hair conditioner, but I like baby lotions because it's hypoallergenic and then just some cornstarch from the store. So I'm gonna have Maddie mix it. She's gonna make three different colors. She picked out some colors. Um, and we're gonna mix it one third cup of lotion to a full cup of cornstarch because the ratio of lotion to cornstarch is one to three. So Maddie, go ahead and start mixing. I'm gonna tell parents, um, you can also, um, mix essential oils in it because there's a lot of uh, good essential oils that um, help with stress relief and anxiety and are calming and those things. And while Maddie's mixing, um, I'm going to go ahead and tell you about some essential oils you can use um, or add in that could be helpful. Um, so lavender um, is a must-have. If you regularly experience stress or anxiety, it's been proven to restore the nervous system by lowering blood pressure and heart rate. Um, it can help calm the nerves. Um, appease um, restlessness and improve sleep quality. Um, so rose essential oil is um, renowned for soothing emotions, headaches, and balancing hormones. Um, it's known for strengthening the heart in periods of high stress, grief, and depression. Um, Ylang Ylang essential oil promotes feelings of comfort and joy. Um, it reduces heart rate, improves your mood, promotes relaxation. Um, inhaling it, so it would be perfect for this dough, just so... Um, your kiddos could just be smelling it in the dough um, and it could uh, work its magic. Um, so it helps release um, negative emotions, reduces stress, and acting as a natural anxiety and depression remedy. Um, bergamot essential oil um, helps fight bacterial infections, support digestive health. Um, it's effective antidepressant due to its mood enhancing qualities. It promotes feeling of joy, freshness, and energy. Um, it also improves blood circulation, stimulates hormone secretions, digestive health, um, and then German chamomile essential oil promotes inner calm, reduces anxiety, and calms the ner nervous system. Um, it can also be used to reduce inflammation of the digestive tract, uh, regulating mood and stress levels. Maddie, you're making a mess, kiddo. I know. Uh, use a spoon. Did you put your lotion in? Uh -huh. One third cup lotion uh -huh. to one cup of cornstarch. Use your spoon, baby. Get, a, get your spoon. Um, and then Melissa oil, which is um, a commonly called uh, lemon balm, um, it's known for its medicinal and uplifting qualities. It's also been given the name Elixir of Life. Um, Melissa essential oil calms the mind, boosts immunity, and strengthens the nervous system. Um, it can also act as an antidepressant and release feelings of sadness. Um, jasmine essential oil is widely used in parts of Asia as a natural remedy for anxiety, stress, insomnia, and depression. Um, it improves mood and energy levels. Um, Clary Sage essential oil is effective in calming stress and anxiety. Um, Narrowly essential oil can be used for a range of ailments, including anxiety relief. Um, it regulates the metabolic system and releases feelings of anger, irritability, and worry. Um, it relaxes both body and soul. And then basil essential oil is one of the lesser known essential oils, but it's the one of the best ones to reduce anxiety and enhance mood. Um, so just keep those in mind. Um, when you're making some sensory dough, how's it feeling, Maddie? It's all good. Let's look at it. It feels I, really soft. Okay. I like it. Kind of feels like cookie dough. It does. <laughs> I like it. I think you need to keep working on it. Get it all because it's kind of sticky. I my hands now? Yeah, it's kind of sticky still, so you need to get all that cornstarch worked in so it's not sticky, Okay. Wait. But it's starting to. You might. You could even maybe dump it out on the table, and knead it kind of like bread. But it's starting to get there. Yeah, it feels cool. Yeah. Oh, see now it's starting to form into a ball. That's cool. Yeah. Mom's hands all messy now. <laughs> Oh, you're adding yellow? Yeah, I'm gonna add a light yellow and I think it's gonna be cool. Yeah, let's see it. Is that open? Do you need mom to help? Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna keep playing with it. 
Okay, we got the yellow open. I was feeling this while Maddie was working on getting her some food coloring, and it feels really cool. Um, like it's kind of, it needs like a dough, but then if you hold it in your hand, it kind of seeps through your fingers like a slime, like it kind of, kind of. like oobleck and slime. Yeah. And oobleck, my daughter's talking about oobleck, that's when she mixes, um, cornstarch and water, um, and that's another fun science experiment because that is both a liquid and a solid at the same time. Um, so that's another another lesson for another day. Maddie, you got some cornstarch on your eye, kiddo. That's okay. <laughs> Need your dough. I itched my eye and I felt something on there, but I don't know what. Okay, so this would be a really cool, um, it could be a fun activity. Obviously very messy, um, but it's fun. Maddie's loving it, and um, you get some essential oils in there. It can... Um, uh, help with some sensory needs for your kiddos as well. Maddie, say bye. Bye.